My mother, Sarah, and my father, Squire, had 11 children. Me, I was one of them. We lived on the frontier after we moved there from Reading, Pennsylvania. When I was young, I learned how to shoot and hunt. The Blue Ridge Mountains were crossed for the first time when I was 26 by me. When I crossed the Cumberland Gap, I got caught by Sewanee Native Americans. I safely escaped. I actually got caught three other times, but safely escaped each time. I got married to Rebecca Bryan on August 17, 1756, and settled down. Later on, I started leading the families into the frontier. I worked as a guide from 1769 to 1771. Then in 1775, I led the Transylvanian Company into the frontier. I also helped the company forge the Wilderness Road. In return, they gave me some land. With that land, I founded Boonesboro. I started to have problems with the government. I lost all my land given to me by the Transylvania Company because it was not recognized by the Virginia legislature. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get my land back. The Spanish government offered me land in Missouri. I decided I would take the land and move my family to Missouri two years later in 1799. In 1807, I worried the Louisiana Purchase would take away my land again. When I went to the Federal Land Commission to find out if I still had the land, they said I didn't. So in 1809, I was again without land. They gave it back to me in 1814. In 1813, Rebecca died. <laughs> By that time, I began moving back and forth between Jemima and Nathan's houses. I stayed with my children until my death from reoccurring bouts of fever. I died on September 26, 1820. I now lay beside my wife in Frankfort, Kentucky.